Good evening and welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, welcome to this joyful moment of a great celebration. These last days were of great expectations and now we are here for this world event. Make ourselves comfortable and enjoy every single moment of it. Please be seated. <coughs> The evangelist Mark, in chapter 10 of his book, verses 6 to 9, says the following. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What, therefore, God has joined together, let no man separate. A community of animals decided to build a school. Every species should teach their skills. Birds, how to fly. Dogs, how to run fast and chase cats. <laughs> Fish, how to swim. Horses, how to carry heavy loads. Amadillo, how to dig. Well, it became a mess. You know what? When the bird tried to dig as they wanted, he broke his leg. The Amadilla almost drowned trying to swim. The elephant almost died jumping from a mountain trying to fight. The dog couldn't walk for days after trying to carry heavy loads. Then, in the next academic meeting, they decided they should teach everyone to improve their skills to help improve the quality of services in the community. The lesson is that it's not wise to try to shape the other in our image but use their skills, abilities, and expertise for the benefit of them. Keep this story in mind, and I invite you to reason with me. What is it that moves a man and a woman to each other? George Harrison says, it is something in the way she moves. <laughs> Billy Joe says that she's got a way that heals me. But look at Jacob. Can we imagine what was what was it that Rachel had that moved him to work seven years to marry her? But that's not all. As he was turned down. He accepted to work more, seven more, just for the sake of Rachel's love. Can you imagine that? In that unexplainable attraction between Jacob and Rachel, God had the purpose to bring, to bring up Joseph to become a kind of Messiah to redeem his own family from suffering. Hannah, a prayerful wife, didn't rest until a godly purpose became a reality in her life through her son, Samuel. Continue to reason with me. God made 
two different persons, men and women. When Jesus says that they are going to become one flesh, doesn't mean that one is going, doesn't mean that one is going to shape the other in his or her own image. What they have in common is the image of God. What is going to happen is to match physical, social, moral, emotion, emotional and spiritual qualities, skills and abilities to produce a home that is not just the result of the addition of two qualities. It is going to generate a synergy, a concept that means a result that is greater than a simple addition of one plus one. A simple but clear instance is when we have two bulbs of 30, 30 watts replaced by just one of 200, 200 watts. The light produced will be able to kill a lot more darkness. What Jesus is saying is that God has a purpose in the union of a man and a woman. God created, created men and women and invited them to take part in the continuation of his creation. This is why a godly marriage shouldn't be separated by men because it has a divine purpose. All good deeds in the history of God's people are the, outcoming, outco are the outcomes of hearing the word of God, the reason above everything. Joshua was told to speak, teach, live, walk in, under, and by the word to become victorious. A marriage under God is a purpose-driven marriage. A purpose-driven marriage is founded in the word of God. And that means they are open to be instructed and driven by the word. Husband and wife, not just not just talk the word, but also walk the word. Not just teach the word, but also live the word. They are driven and nourished by the word. John the Apostle says that the word is the truth, and the truth makes us free. That freedom means the liber liberation from the lies of Satan, whose desire is to turn down every marriage that come under God. The word is the light that reveals the deeds of darkness that may harm all careless marriage. Emily and Pedro, God has a purpose for our lives together. And he is waiting for a word from you. There is a long journey, a long road before you to be taken together. Hand in hand, heart in heart, side by side, under the light of God. If it is your desire to take that road together, would you verbalize it to each other in front of this congregation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs>